Cheese. 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 <laughs> ah. Ah. Red. <laughs> Can I see? Look right here. What's that? <laughs> Having camera issues this morning. I'm not sure if it's focused on me or not. I feel like we're going to be a little late to the nail appointment because of that. It is a weird ass day outside. Okay, good morning. So it is Tuesday, my dudes. Definitely gonna be late to the nail appointment. We're gonna say goodbye to the green. I think I'm gonna bring back the red. I'm gonna get a facial tomorrow with El Javeda. Yeah, I'm gonna go get a facial tomorrow. I haven't had a facial since I was like five months pregnant, five or six months pregnant, something like that. Um, just because it got uncomfortable to lay there, and then you know I just haven't had time. But I need a, I need a facial so bad. I don't even have like a skincare regimen. I'm like almost embarrassed to go. But I have had this like blemish here on my cheek since Kai's birthday since Kai's birthday like I literally got it January 29th I remember because I woke up because it's been a really long time since I had like a pimple on my cheek or something and it will not go away I pop it, it comes back 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 it's come back like 15 times so I'm like okay you need professional help <laughs> okay like I'm not I'm going like I'm going slow We are actually flying for the first time with Kai uh, next week, not this week, the end of next week, um, next Friday. We are flying up to Jersey for Lorenzo's second birthday, and I'm a little nervous, not gonna lie. Um, just like the whole taking your baby on the plane, like I feel like he's such a good kid, but I feel like air just bring out the worst in everybody and I just don't know you know you, you just never know what you're gonna get so fingers crossed um, I ordered a travel stroller that like folds down I'll show you guys when I get it I think it comes today but it had like 6,000 reviews it looked really good um, you can put it in the overhead bin I've always been a carry-on girly um, but I think I'm actually gonna check a bag just so I can pack like me and Kai stuff all in one suitcase and then don't have to worry about like pushing a stroller and like, taking like a carry-on because that just seems like extra work for no reason uh, and then I got him like toys that he's never seen before um, like some books he's never seen before he loves books which is nice and like some like sensory kind of toys to keep his like, his, like little fingers active and then I'm gonna do like one of those little snack boxes I got like some food grade plastic boxes because I think that will be easier for his little hands because he likes when you put stuff in bowls so I figured he don't like that. Do their ears pop? I feel like I used to be so scared of my ears popping and then it just stopped. They just stopped popping after a while and I don't know. So I'm worried about his ears popping and him being uncomfortable. I've just been watching like so many TikTok videos on like flying with one year olds and what to do and I feel like I feel like we'll be good. It's just a little it's a little nerve wracking. Just the airport in general. Carly's like don't bring anything. I got diapers. I got this. I got that. <laughs> I have to show you guys these pants that I'm wearing too. Like, I literally, I told you, I mean, like, I literally had these same exact camo pants from Abercrombie when I was in high school, and I saw them on the website the other day, and I was like, no. And I put them on this morning, and I was like, yes. Like, they're literally the exact pants, the same soft feeling. I'm like, are they just going through their archives at, at, at like, all these, like, clothing sites and pulling stuff from, like, the 2000s? Because I don't know if I'm not going to. I'm also gonna go get some extensions put in again. I know, I know. And then I wanna get like this cut like more here because I feel like it's like bang and then long. So I like wanna get like these pieces cut so that they're like shorter like here. Um, but I'm gonna get some hair put in. We're getting some more tattoos. Or I'm only getting one. I think I'm only getting one. Maybe two. One or two. He has one for sure on his books. So I feel like I wanna write him and be like, can I just get one more little tiny one? Um, but. I don't know, oh, the spray tan is still like living its life on my underarm over here. We're about to be at the nail salon, so goodbye to these, these green things. Um, and either hello to red or these like silver ones, I'm not sure. One hour later. I got red. 
Oh, I literally so had another, like, I had a design picked out. It was going to be, like, silver, chromey situation. And then I was like, I, I'm, I need red because it's just so good. It's just so good. So I'm going to head home. I feel like listening to some music, though. I never listen to music in the car because I feel like I'm just chit-chatting with you guys. I feel like I say it all the time. So I will see you guys at the house. I have to film some content today. Um, and then we need to go to the grocery store. So I'll see you guys at the house. Your favorite part of the store. I booked a last minute facial appointment with Elger Beta because I told you guys the other day like I just I need a freaking facial for skin. I don't have a skincare regimen. I literally just put like moisturizer on my face, which I feel like it's been doing good pretty good, but your girl needs some extractions, okay? I need a little bit of help. Um so I booked the appointment last minute with her and then it was the day after I just got my nails done yesterday. So I don't really like having to do two things back to back like this, <laughs> like spread them out now. Um but here we are, we're going to get a facial. I have to stop and get some gas this morning because we're not going to make it all the way to Tampa and I'm going to try not to leave my debit card here. And I really want to eat this Mama Chia. I don't know if these are sitting shorts. <laughs> Baby, like the cloth is very necessary. I thought I forgot my phone. I was about to have horse tech. Talked about this facial. Jeremy told me to make him an appointment to get him a facial too, which I'm like. Goat beams. Yeah, to take care of that skin. I don't know if he's ever had a facial. Well, in the 14 years that we've been together, he's never had a facial. Um, I always try to get him to go, but he's always like, nah, nah, nah. and I was like, do you want me to make you a appointment? He was like, yeah, and I'm like, finally. Oh, that is a cop on a motorcycle. Oh, and another cop. We get a new couch delivered on Friday. Um, so the playpen is officially coming down out of the living room. We don't, we used to put him in there, you know, and like close the door, but like he can crawl over it. He'll push it and like scoot out the side. So I'm like, we're just going to take this down. Um, I am excited to take it down though. I need to get a new rug for the living room as well. I probably should have done that before the couch got some other box. So I will see you guys hopefully during the facial. The beta set that I have lots of issues. <laughs> You pronounced my name perfect. What do you have people call you? Don't you have them call you like something else? Um, Ella. 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 My father used to call me that, but... I like Elsa. That's my name. Yeah. It's always... Exactly. It makes me feel good when people try to just say it. Yeah. However... However... They you know, can. However they can, <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs>
ready? I'm ready. <laughs> okay. So we're going to, because your skin is sensitive, we're mm -hmm. going to start with P50W. Okay. I already wet the cotton mm -hmm. and that's how you need to start. Okay. This blend of different ingredients can be for sensitive skin to start with a little much, but if you go a little baby steps, you will do better. Okay. So you're going to take it. This is a professional bottle, but you're going to just use your bottle mm -hmm. and you're going to basically saturate the cotton, not droopy, not dripping, dripping, right. dripping, but quite, quite a lot. Okay. Now from here now, this is your face okay. from, from your chest up. So this is never to be rubbed. You don't ever want it to do that. Okay. You always want it to travel with the pack. So it doesn't matter how you do it. Don't, don't get hung up on the technique, mm -hmm. but you basically don't rub it. You push it and lift. Think about the word, you travel with the pad. You okay. travel with it. So you lift it. This way, what is happening? This way, you incorporate the product in. You don't rub it in, you actually press it in. You can do a lot more with the product when it's pressed in instead of just swiping it off. Mm -hmm. And if you do the technique properly, you will also notice that you can get a little lift with just applying the P50 properly so you kind of go you never go over the bone you go under the bone okay. and lifting movements you know that you never drag your skin right. and then you go from the eyebrow you don't forget your nose here around the lips mm -hmm. you do like that and then stretch your upper lip because this part right there uh -huh. is very important there's a lot of congestion usually and that concludes the half of your face you see, there's a already, like, yeah. I know there is already a little lift, wow. you see? Yeah. Your skin needs balancing. So this is not a toner. Some people call it toner. It's mm -hmm. more than a toner. Mm -hmm. It is a balancer. You take care of the pH of the skin. You balance the skin. Mm -hmm. And then, then when the skin is ready to receive a beautiful serums, beautiful treatments, that's when you do it. that it's kind of like a little cyst under there and that I need to be like massaging it out. Not so much trying to, oh, it's a little tight squeeze out of this place. Um, Cause I did obviously try to pop it more than one time, but I've, she got like, I feel like a lot of it out and she said that I really just need to be like massaging it and breaking it up. Um, and then I had like a lot of 
what's it called? Milia? Milia? Those little white, they look like little white heads and you can't pop them yourselves. You literally have to get them extracted. Um, and then the only product that I got because she wants me to use it like super religiously is the Biologica Regique, right? The P50, P50W. I don't know. I just love her so much. She's like just so relaxing and it's literally the best facial I've ever gotten ever didn't disappoint it's like almost two it was like almost a two hour facial like I, my appointment was at 10 45 it's 12 30. she was working <laughs> um and she told me that i need to be using red light on my face um because it's like very good for like my rosacea um and stimulating collagen she says that she does it three times a week so she's like get a red light machine use it i feel like i have a red light machine somewhere in my house so i gotta find that yeah so i'll see you guys I might see you guys at the house, but I might see you guys tomorrow. I'm not, I'm not sure. We came over to a different park, but there just seems like there's a lot of people over there. And it seems like it's for big people, but then we just discovered this, and now Beebs is mad he doesn't have a basketball. Coco's watching him play pickleball. Oh, so we are, we're heading to the hair salon. I know, I feel like the Goldilocks of hair salon. I'm looking for the hair that's just right. We're heading to see Erin today because I'm going to get some extensions put back in. I don't know if I got 24s or 26s. I feel like I got 26s. Because <laughs> I had 24 inches last time and I felt like they weren't long enough because they were like basically the length of my hair. Um, so I'm getting 26s. Keep in mind though that I am 5'9", so that's why I get hair that's longer because I like it to hit like, you know, below the boob. We are finishing up the backyard. We're actually getting turf installed in the rest of the, in, in the, rest of the yard. Um, we were going back and forth on if we were going to put sod down again or if we were going to get turf because I just feel like there's going to be like a lot of action in the backyard. Um, and then we have a saltwater pool and there's only like this much paver between the pool and the grass or sod now or turf. Um, and I thought like maybe it would be corrosive to the grass and just it's going to be nice for Kai to play out there and not be like all in the dirt. I mean, I don't care that he gets dirty. We, he, he plays in the dirt all the time now. And, really care but I just think it'll be nice to have turf by the pool. I actually still have my hair in here from last time Erin did my hair. I think I like it the my color blended down a little more or maybe like softened or toned I don't know. I feel like it definitely needs a toner already it's just because I have not the best water. Look at this hair. Oh, it looks so good. I love it. Like, 
Love it, love it, love it. It looks so good. Let me call my husband and my son. I think I might make it home for nap time. Hello. Hello. Hey. On my way home. Good, because I'm losing my freaking mind. You, this kid's you, out of control. You better stop it. He's crazy. You better stop talking about my son like that. Beeps. I was on the phone with Grandpa. Uh -huh. I turn around. The kid's shotgun the Red Bull. <laughs> He's been running around like crazy. He's screaming. I don't hear anything. Yeah, I've got him tied up with son stuff to his mouth. <laughs> oh, my poor baby. Tell him Mom's coming home. Baby, wait. Oh? He's a baby. Oh, sweet man. His next snap's at three. Okay. Oh, wait. Drive careful. All right, I will. Shotgun to Red Bull. And we did get 26 inches. We did get that 26. HelloFresh coming through with the fast and fresh. These are box to plate and 15 minute meals. We're gonna do these pineapple chicken tacos, which just sound so delicious. But the fact that they're ready in 15 minutes kind of is making it a little more delicious to me. HelloFresh keeps your taste buds on their toes with 40 recipes and over 100 seasonal and convenience items to choose from each week. With so much variety, there are options for everyone and every lifestyle. Go to HelloFresh.com and use code NicoleG50 for 50% off plus your first box ships free. We all know that good food is too precious to waste and HelloFresh's pre-portioned ingredients cut down on your food waste by at least 23% compared to grocery shopping, which is always good for you, your wallet, and of course course the planet my favorite part is hellofresh takes the hassle out of mealtime by delivering fresh ingredients and easy to prepare recipes right to your door i really really love this 15 minute quick meal it was so delicious and it was probably the fastest meal we've ever prepped together in the kitchen just in general so if you guys want to try hellofresh for yourself you can go to hellofresh.com and use code nicole g50 for 50 percent off plus your first box ships free these braids have seen better days he's added some of that chipotle crumb onto the slaw smart he's got these things stuffed Mine are this stuffed. That'd be good. It smells yeah. good. Yeah. Oh, I'm gonna crunch some of these old tortilla chips up into mine too. That move. <laughs> Made these things fit. Made them like I like mine. Sorry, right, I gotta go. Trip. I gotta go. I gotta go. I'm, I might have went too big here, people. Mm. I'm losing stuff out of mines. What do you think? Fire? Right. <laughs> 15 minute meal? It's spicy. It's spicy. I told you. <laughs> Put the second pack of blackening in there. That's hot. It's good. It's really good. It's really good. Pineapple kind of kills the spice though. <laughs> <laughs> Mm, I like the oh, I like the pineapple in it. Mm -hmm. Spicy but good. Anyways, very good. <laughs> as I'm breathing fire at you guys, you know the drill with the HelloFresh. All the information is listed in the bottom bar if you guys want to check it out. This was a 15 minute. What? This was a fast and fresh meal. 15 minutes. I think that's a pretty good. Box the plate. 15 minutes. That's a pretty good meal for 15 minutes. All right, we gotta go eat these. They came out really good. They did come out really good. Hopefully, I uh. Make it through. <laughs> Better get some water. <laughs> some milk. <laughs> Jeremy made him a peanut butter and jelly sandwich with bananas on it and he just deconstructed yeah, yeah. it. And is now eating the bananas only. Bananas? Well, you are smart, so. Hi! Hello, everybody! It is way later in the day than when I saw you. I think the last time I saw you was at like 1 and we were making Ninja Creamies. And I just want to know why I have to wait 24 hours. I feel like 
they would do good right now but i'm gonna wait the full 24 hours especially for the first ones okay so it is wednesday it's 7 40 baby is sleeping uh jeremy went outside to work out i gotta show you guys these dunks i got this was not the point of this vlog part but they're sitting right here and they're too cute not to show you like oh my god but i just found out so like okay i just wanted green um dunks um, so I, I googled green dunks and then I came across these. I got them from Stadium Goods, but apparently this is called the Lottery Pack. And they came with this little coin, like that little thing right there. I don't know why it's not focusing, but you see the coin hanging. Um, and you're supposed to scratch the black off of the Nike check and it's supposed to look like the paper. I'm not doing that. I'm not doing that. I'm not scratching with the black pack. It, it, it might fade on its own over time, but I ain't doing it. No, ma'am. This, like this paper. No, thank you. I just, I would like the black check, please. So tomorrow is Thursday, uh, like our last full day at home. Sorry about the beep. Uh, before we go out of town, so tomorrow I need to pack uh, me and Kai's suitcase. Um, I'm, I have a, I bought a travel stroller. I actually bought two. I bought one from Amazon that I think is pretty good. It's a bit wobbly. And then I saw this one called like Zoe Baby. Um, it's still in the box. I'm probably going to unbox it tomorrow and I'll do it with you guys. Um, because it just looked a little bit sturdier and had a little bit re better reviews. So I'm going to, I'm going to return the one that I bought from Amazon, which I think is called like Pocket pocket baby or something like that pocket air it is good i like how small and easy it is to open and close the zoe baby you can close with one hand again i'll show you all this tomorrow but the pocket one i'm pretty sure it's called pocket uh you need two hands it does get down really really small they both weigh 12 pounds um and that's the one we're going to use to travel with you can fit it in the overhead compartment so i'm packing a bag a checked bag for me and kai which I don't remember the last time I checked a bag. I think the last time I checked a bag is when we were in India. <laughs> um, so pack tomorrow. I need to go to Target um, tomorrow as well. Jeremy's getting a haircut. We were trying to get the baby a haircut tomorrow too, but they don't have any availability. So, I mean, he's still, he's cute no matter what. So we'll just get him a haircut once we get back. Just one less thing to worry about tomorrow. So packing, Target. I think Grandpa's coming over tomorrow. And unbox the baby stroller so obviously we know what we're doing before we get to the airport and then i need to shower i'm still debating if i want to go get a spray tan in the morning not a level three not a level three <laughs> maybe a level one because i feel like i need a little bit of color in my life but i don't know we'll see how the day goes i feel like i would have to do it early in the morning before uh jeremy even went to get a haircut you know to give it like the process time and then have to shower and blow dry my hair and all that jazz so just the two main things tomorrow are packing and target. Everything else up in the air, obviously. <laughs> Unbox the baby stroller. Did you guys see this picture? Like, excuse me. Like, I know that people are partial to their own children. Uh, but look at this baby. I mean, somebody said he looks like he's in a cool water cologne ad and I couldn't agree more. Like. <laughs> He's so handsome. I gotta, I gotta fix my tracking on here because something happened with my tracking when I was messing with my camera settings and it's just been out of whack since. Like it wants to start focusing like over here. Like is there a ghost here? Oh, I'm making him like a little snack box thing. You know, I got these little food containers. These are actually food grade plastic. So they're not like, it's not like a tackle box that food isn't gonna go in. These are actually food grade um, plastic. So I have two. I'm not sure which. I might honestly fill up both because my man likes to snack. Um, I got him these to put like his dried snacks in. And then I also got, got this little um, Bentco Kids Chill Leak Proof Lunchbox, which looks like this. I already have the little part that gets pulled in the, free, in the freezer. I'll pull it out and show you guys because I thought it was pretty cool because... You don't have to worry about like it leaking. So I, I thought that I could put like his fresh fruit and stuff um, in here and it will stay nice and cold and fresh because this is what you freeze. You just freeze this bottom part, which 
exposed in the bottom like this. And then this little guy goes on top. So I'm gonna put some fresh fruit and stuff in here for him. But I just loved that it could keep things cold. And it wasn't like an actual thing that could leak. So this is actually really cold. It's been in the freezer for like a day or two already. Also, creamy update. This is the state that we're in right now. This is gonna be so good. We are traveling during um, his first nap of the day, so I don't know if he's actually going to take a nap, but you know, that's what we're gonna try to do. We'll see. Yeah, I will see you guys tomorrow. We got a long day. <laughs> Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. It's not morning. It's actually 12:30 in the afternoon. We've been up for quite some time. Hello, Orange. Of course, Orange wants to come over and say hello. Um, so I have officially vetoed the spray tan today. Mm -hmm. Yep, we're not doing that. Jeremy just left to go get a haircut, and then we'll probably go to Target when he gets home before. I always get stuck if I have it in a braid on my two little earrings. Um, mm, yeah, baby. Yeah, mama got you this little lunch box for the plane. So I'm gonna pack you some snacks in here. Let's open up this travel stroller. What is that? Oh, it's a little cup. Let's open up this travel stroller to see what it looks like. Also, Renzi's Crocs came, and then I got us the same pair for Kai. There's not like a iced tea up here for you to spill, right? Sit right here with mom. Mama got you a pair, and I got a pair for Renz, too. They look like this, the mar marble ones. He's all about climbing and standing on things. Now I want to get him like a little jungle gym situation. We're putting the turf in outside there. It's happening right now. Um, but I don't think it'll be done until next week. Um, and then we're gonna get him like one of those like jungle gyms outside to crawl on. Oh, mom put me down. Let's go get your, let's go get this stroller out here so we can open it up. We're talking to fish. He's gonna want to ride around the house. Okay, so here it is. It is really, really light. You put the wheels on. I think they just click in. Two wheels. Hold on. All right, hold on. Let's let's set the camera up. Okay. So, don't mess with the camera. Oh, okay, okay. Oh, all right, all right. Thing. And you can close this, like I said, with one hand. It seems, can you see us? <laughs> can they see us, baby? Okay, so it seems way bigger than the Amazon one. You wanna get in? I like that there's like this little screen up here that like flips up so I can see baby in there. Hold on. Do you wanna sit in there? This button, I assume. All this bust out like this. Right? And then you can adjust this seat. Oh yeah, you telling them the features? Is there like a wheel lock or something? Because, okay. Yeah, so you can adjust this to be higher or lower. I feel like I should make it a little higher because this guy likes to sit up straight. Want to sit in it? What do you think? You can ride around the airport in this. It's easy. So it comes with this bar attachment that you could put like across here, you know, so baby can hold on. But I got the accessories. You can get a bunch of attachments for it. So. Yeah, I got him this one, which is a little snack tray. Got it like this. Let me see. Watch your fingers. Watch your finger. Let me see. 
then he has a little snack tray here. Do you like that? Mama can put snacks in here for you and a drink and a cup holder. So this attachment goes, hold on. And then I can see baby here. You want me to close this? Here, let me close this up. Hi. You can still close it just as easily with this little bag attached to it. Well, he seems to be liking it. Oh, this one is so much more like sturdy feeling. Oh, you look cute, bud. So the reason that I switched is because, like I said, the Amazon one, I feel like is a really good like travel stroller. It was just a little wobbly. Like when I would push him, I could feel the wheels moving. Are these 360 wheels in the front? They are. 360 wheels makes it easy just to like maneuver in tight places. Um, and I really liked that this one had this for his feet. So this can be adjusted. You can um, put it up or down. But the other one, his feet were just kind of hanging. Um, and I felt like he was like a little too small for that, like the feet hang. So I like that he has some foot support. He's like, where are my snacks? Do you want me to put some snacks in there? And some snackies. All right. Boom. What do you think? You like it? I like it. I think it's really nice. So this is the Zoe baby, I believe. Put it in the hole. Put it in there. Good job. Okay. I gotta get my shit together, so I'll see you guys in a little bit. One eternity later. Okay. We are heading to Target. I was gonna try to say something, but I gotta finish this little but I'm mainly going to get Kai some more snacks because he likes those. I'm not even sure of the name, but I'll show them to you guys. They're almost like little Nutri-Grain bars. And then all I have to do is pack our suitcase. Our flight is at 9 a.m. tomorrow. Kai usually naps around 9, 9.30 every day. So I don't know. I feel like I this is all like a learning curve for me. I don't know if I should have like... We should have flown like after his nap or before his nap or during his nap. So, and I feel like his first nap, he always goes down for like really easily. Um, and that second nap is usually a struggle. So if he skips the second nap tomorrow, I think that'll be okay. But he might be tired from like all the commotion. I don't know. I feel like I gotta just like chill. Like if I, oh, if I, if I like start to overthink it, then that's when things get like overwhelming. Cause you just never know how it's gonna go, right? Right. <laughs> Checking out the turf. He's getting a little putting green put in. That's what this is gonna be, but I think it's gonna go over there, he said. Apparently it's hot. My toes are not pedicured, so don't judge. Oh, it's soft. Oh, it feels so nice. I didn't think it was gonna feel like this. I didn't think it was gonna feel like this. Feels so good. Wow. What do you think, buddy? Oh, it's gonna look so nice. It feels so nice. All right. We're off on an adventure. My boy's a little tired. <laughs> Thank you.
Yuck, yuck, yuck. What? What? What's wrong? What, what do you want? Oh, you want the burger? Want the burger bun? Oh. Like this?